Hi everyone, it's Jean from Sew It Themes here for just a quick flip through on uh, two more uh, journals for my shop and these are Traveler Notebooks journals. They are very very similar um, but there are some variations in them. They have a very, uh, they have a doubled up cardstock cover so these can be used on their own. You do not have to put them in to um, another uh, Midori or anything like that. They measure Ooh, they measure four and three quarters by eight and a half inches. Uh, they have an elastic closure. And thank you, Gretchen from Cat and Paws, for showing me how to do that. So they have um, uh, an eyelet with the, with the elastic goes through it. And they have a um, pamphlet, five-hole pamphlet stitch to attach the signatures together. I am including in all of them tabs, uh, four tabs that can be placed and glued wherever the new owner would like to put them. And this is Artie May's paper. It is beautiful, just, just lovely. And I have tea stained paper throughout. And so I have also sewn around the um, tags. There's a tuck spot there. I've stenciled on some snowflake flakes and. Uh, some berries and vines as well. Here is an envelope with a little journaling card on the inside and with an altered paper clip to hold it together or to hold it in place. Here's the uh, other stenciling design in here. Uh, tuck spots, you could put a photograph up there. So these are, these are very excellent for December dailies, especially if you've not kept one and you kind of like want to experiment what, you know, what it's all about. Um, this is a matchbook with some papers on the inside. And I have on the front of here, this little guy with gifts. And I, when I made this, I thought, what, how cute this would be to put gifts and keep track of, you know, who gave what and who, who you're going to buy for and things. There's plenty of writing space in here, of course. Plenty of places for you to put in your own personality. There's another tag with an altered paper clip. You can also, you know, use this as um, a winter journal. There is little Christmas references throughout, but they're small enough that you really could you could cover them up pretty easy. Here is a little file folder. with an altered paper clip on there. A mason jar. With a um, place to write on the inside. There are 28 pages, counting both sides. I'll tuck spot there. I love this little design, it's so cute. Here's a tuck spot there. So there is, you know, uh, references to Christmas, but you could cover this up and keep it throughout the winter as well. There's another card there. And come to the end with another pocket through there. So that is the one with the gift and Christmas tree charm. And the other one is much like it, but we... We'll go through it. There are a few variations. It has the same kind of stitching, same kind of construction. Definitely can be used on its own. Very sturdy cover. Has the tabs on the inside. And we'll just take a peek in this one. Sewn around tags as well. Here's an altered paper clip here that's holding in this envelope here. And we'll just move on here quickly. Tuck spot there. Here is another envelope. A little card on the inside of that. Altered paper clip. Here's an envelope with a journaling card on the inside.
into the middle of the signature. A mason jar journaling spot there. A tag. A um, altered paper clip that's holding in a tag on this side. Tuck spot there. File folder here. And another matchbook. And a back pocket. So those are the two uh, little journals that will be they're available in my shop if you are interested. And thank you. Thank you so much for viewing. Um, we will see you again real soon. Bye.